Acts of vandalism at a local church and a nightclub are now being investigated as possible hate crimes. Our Chris Beal is live for us in Hillcrest with what the police chief and the mayor are asking for tonight. Chris. Yeah, good evening, Andrew. And this is one of the places vandalized here. And in talking with community leaders, including the mayor, they say this was more than vandalism. It was hate. A random smattering of paint still left behind, but the Black Lives Matter banner has been replaced, a sign that a vandal cannot stop the movement. As a church, we believe it is our faithful, sacred duty to proudly proclaim that Black Lives Matter. At United Christian Church, the vandal targeted a display of rainbow doors and threw paint on the Black Lives Matter banner hanging above. The same type of thing happened at Rich's nightclub in Hillcrest on the same morning early last Sunday. The mayor saying this is not to be taken lightly. While some might say that this is a small act of vandalism, we must call this for what it is, which is an act of hate. As mayor of this great city, I want to be extremely clear. There is no room for hate in San Diego. This was more than an act of vandalism. It was an attack on our community and on the people who live in our city. The San Diego chief of police hopes these images from surveillance cameras showing the suspected vandal lead officers to them. I want to stress the importance of reporting incidents, even if you think they are small in nature. Hate has no place in our communities, has no place in Hillcrest, has no place in anywhere in the city of San Diego or the world for that matter. The fact that we're at the beginning of Black History Month is not lost on community members. They hope their response can be a lesson as well, and with any luck, this person can be caught. This right here today, in response to these acts, is one example of how kids today learn. These acts are unacceptable. Now, both of these places that were vandalized, the mayor says these are places of inclusion for so many people in this neighborhood, and that's why this hits so close to home, and they really do hope that anybody with information will contact the police department. For now, we're live in Hillcrest. I'm Chris Beal, Fox 5 News. Hopefully somebody has some information for them. Chris, thank you.